quick one guys today i'll be showing you how to connect your ps4 controller with your pc wired and wirelessly so the first thing you want to do is you want to open any browser i'll leave the link in the description what you want to do is you want to go to ds4windows.com so once you are here you want to download this software i have already downloaded it so no need to go through that again next you want to let me close this so here is the location where it is saved and now what you want to do is you want to right click and with any zip extraction software mine i'm using winra you want to go to extract to ds4 windows once that is done let me refresh okay this is our software what you want to do is you want to move this into your c drive or anywhere in your pc but i prefer to move it to my c drive i have already done this process again so this is the file you, you just want to move it here as you can see let me just replace it for the sake of this tutorial continue okay so once that is done you want to open it up so when you open yours this folder might not be there yet but it's still going to be created i'll show you how you're going to create it but these are the two files you're going to see inside the ds4 updater and the ds4 window what you want to do first is you want to send this to your desktop so i can just say send to desktop to create a shortcut so it will be easier for me to get to but then i can also move it to my tax bar here so i've pinned it to my tax bar you can close everything now now you want to open the ds4 windows this is what you'll be greeted with these are the profile that i have yours might not come with any profile that's fine so now what you want to do is you want to go to your controllers and as you can see there are no controllers connected so you want to close this app and you want to restart your pc okay so now i have restarted my pc now let's open it once again bam go back to our controllers now to connect it via usb you want to get any usb but preferably the one that comes with your ps4 controller but today i'll be using the one that came with my phone so so now you want to plug it in and instantly it should register and if you notice on the screen i am using the touchpad now to control it but in order to test it out you can go to settings here and go to your control panel you want to click on the controller property and here you can see everything is working everything is working everything so now let's move to the second one which is how to connect it via bluetooth so you want to close this and now what you want to do let me disconnect this as you can see it is not working anymore you want to go to your controller slash driver press here so once you're here step one is you want to install the ds4 driver which i have already done and that is the virtual box folder you were seeing the other time let's go to program ds4 yes this is the folder and once you press that it's going to bring out installing as you can see and then we have install complete now you want to go to your bluetooth settings and from the instruction here we are told to press the shift and the ps button for it to start pairing with your pc and you should find the wireless controller when you go to add pc so i want to go to add pc this one is my second part it's not this one so you want to go to add pc and what you want to do is you want to press the shift button and the ps button together for a few seconds and you should see the light blinking there you have it okay so now i want to go to bluetooth and here it is bluetooth wireless controller and as you can see the light will come up instantly instantly i want to close this finish and as you can see our bluetooth controller is working and if i should 
As you can see the touchpad is also working. I can go into settings, no, sorry. <laughs> settings, then control panel to test if our controller is really working. Properties, and there you go. There you go, wirelessly. Everything is working wirelessly. And now to use it in any game, all you have to do is open the game up and yeah, there you go. Thank you for watching today's tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button. Till next time I come your way, peace out.